Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay. We have the Merlin with protection. Looks like this week you're getting protection from the universe. Uh... I'm also hearing um, rejection is God's protection here. Okay, so there's a lot of things coming your way, and you're almost in this like little safety bubble this week uh, for what you've gone through. We have, I regret lying to you. I wonder if you're happy without me. So this person has a lot of regrets when it comes to this connection. Um, and thinking about you a lot, wondering if uh, you even think about them still. Overall energy, we have Eight of Swords. This is about feeling trapped in fears and doubts, uh, but there's always a way out of the situation here. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week, Sag. We have Ten of Pentacles, Death, and the Two of Cups. So you have major things going on in your life right now. I see why you're getting protection here. A lot of big, massive changes happening in your life right now. And it seems like everything was pretty even keel up until this point. It seems like when it comes to family, finances, uh, a lot of structure changes here. Um, you know, things are really going to be okay. And it looks like uh, with this protection here, things are going to turn in your favor. You're going to benefit from this, but the struggle is real, right? It's, it's like something that's really hard to go through, but it's something that's needed at this current moment. And I also see a transformation in how you feel in regards to the person you were dealing with, right? You're looking at this, uh, taking the rose colored glasses off and seeing it in a completely different way now. Um, you're not letting your feelings or emotions kind of take control over you. You really are just focused on, um, you know, fixing your life basically and dealing with uh, the obstacles that have been thrown your way right now. So let's see what's going on with your person's energy. I do see for a lot of you, there's a home situation here. That's been really tough, but it's, uh, you know, definitely changing. Uh, it's going to be for the better here. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Three of Wands. This person's uh, been kind of keeping an eye on you here. Uh, you may think that they're gone, but they have not left. They've been watching you uh, as well as kind of keeping this protective barrier. They don't want you to notice that at all. So it's kind of like they're hiding behind the scenes here. Knight of Pentacles, they... They fully intend on coming back and, you know, really wanting to kind of, uh, you know, build something here or just, you know, start from square one. Uh, but this person, it's like they're just waiting in the wings here. Tell me about the three of wands. Four of pentacles. They are. They're just holding back. Tell me about this four of pentacles. Emperor, they're ke keeping a lot of self-control, okay? Uh, it's taking a lot because everything inside of them is telling them, you know, they want to come just talk to you here. Uh, there's a lot of regret in um, something that they said here. Tell about the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Yeah, they feel like they can, you know, revisit this past experience with you and rebuild from ground zero. They feel like they can... Um, have the opportunity if they just wait a little bit there's something uh, you know that they're trying to wait in regards to timing or wait for okay so let's see what's happened in the past we have the king of cups the empress and the five of cups so in the past, this was a really hard situation to go through. It was emotionally draining on you. You felt like, you know, even when the person would communicate with you, you felt like they weren't really in it or you couldn't really trust if they're being real with their emotions. 
Uh, it's almost like you felt like there was a facade here. They made you believe that uh, this was going to be something really great and long term. Uh, you almost feel like manipulated or taken advantage of. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Queen of Cups. Some of Queen of Cups. Nine of Wands. It seems like it, it was a connection where this love seems so real and so extreme, right? You could feel that this person, uh, they felt the same way towards you. But how they said it was completely different. It's almost like, you know, why are you saying it that way? Like you couldn't trust it. So then you didn't trust yourself. If you were really feeling in your intuition that they were actually on the same page as you. It's a really, uh, you know, twisted combination because you're over analyzing and thinking to yourself emotionally you know, over and over and over, like an endless record player. Is this real? Am, is it, am I, am I thinking this straight? Is this what I'm seeing? But then I know that I feel this, like, um, it, it was just so confusing and mind boggling to you. It became so overwhelming. Uh, tell me about this King of Cups. Knight of Wands. Tell me the Knight of Wands, please. Knight of Cups. Yeah. They seem too good to be true, too dreamy at times. Uh, it seemed like how they were saying it, not exactly what they were saying, but how they were saying it seemed off. It just seemed not believable. Uh, as well as, you know, deep down, they're showing up as the King of Cups, but what they're portraying to you is the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So their love comes and goes as freely as, you know, a stream. It's just like, it, it was nothing you could really um, build upon or, you know, really think that they're going to stay in this for long term. Even though they may have said things to you, uh, it almost feels like a love bombing situation. Uh, but the core of it is the King and Queen of Cups. They viewed you as their divine counterpart, the person that they really did want to be with. They had this deep love and affection for you. But it's like they would show you something completely different, uh, really hide behind this mask here of possibly not feeling like they were good enough as well as, uh, you know, their view on love, uh, that this extreme that they've never really felt before kind of confused them. So they played it a different way. Uh, let's see what the challenge was here. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Tower. This person said something unexpected here, possibly things exposed. Um, they did it, but then it's like you didn't really get the full truth, okay? Something really, really hurt you that you found out or happened here. Possible lies as well. I regret lying to you. Uh, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. King of Wands, Six of of cups you felt like this person was working on something else a uh, possible uh committed situation uh not for everyone it doesn't have to be but if it's not that this person was working on um stability elsewhere you felt like they were putting all their energy even though they wouldn't tell you that you could feel it you just knew that something was off tell me about this tower hermit five of swords yeah this upsetting news that you you heard or something was found out here, it was so sudden uh, that this person they didn't think they didn't care about what you thought of them. They did, at the time they didn't care about how you felt, and they decided to cut you off cold turkey and abandon you here in this connection. So you've definitely felt rejected here, and it's kind of why the universe is protecting you right now. Um, this has been a really tough situation. You've been honest and genuine and this person has it they've really tried to pull the wool over your eyes but they didn't succeed right because you were very right in your belief and in your intuition of what was going on here because this person uh they just completely left it was like uh they just left this connection in limbo tell us this page of wands three of swords please fool King and Queen of Pentacles, yeah. A lot of you could be dealing with someone that's already in a situation. They take care of someone here or in a 
uh, marriage. It doesn't really have to be. It can just be something in regards to their home, okay? And they were definitely putting more energy into that. You were right. Fool card. This person, they don't really think things through. And you kind of took them off guard okay by surprise here about how deeply they felt for you they never really felt like that before so it's like this person's like my everything it's like wait why am i you know connecting so much with this person um i didn't really think that i would commit to them i thought i would just say these things uh not really do it and now all they can think about is doing that and coming back and apologizing for their lies Okay, so let's see what action they're going to take here. Whoa. Oh, I was told this one. Okay. Okay, thank you, spirits. Let's see. Sagittarius. Thank you. Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups. So they're still plan having a plan put in place a strategy here to reconcile okay but they're flying solo right now tell me the seven of swords i always check for foul play tell me the devil devil justice okay so they're trying to escape uh, their tendencies to uh, only focus on themselves and possibly lie here. This person uh, has problems giving full truths to people. Um, that's just how they've always been. Uh, they fear that uh, somebody might just come down on them or they don't like confrontation, things like that. They just like to kind of uh, free flow with their life and not have people put judgment on them so they don't like to speak uh complete truth so they hold back a lot of information uh with the nine of pentacles this person you know they're they're wanting to kind of come back and revisit something from the past fix it here and be able to kind of start over so we're going to see in the extended exactly what action they take here, as well as what they're going to say when they do this, okay, what plan they have set in place, as well as timing and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.